Good morning and welcome to this Trinity Sunday. Some people would find this a difficult thing to talk about, so I've done my best and we'll see what we come up with. Today, the Church celebrates, as we said, this most holy feast of the Holy Trinity. The most holy Trinity is an external exchange of life-giving love. Throughout history, God has shown his humanity, his selfless love. Christ has revealed the Father's love in the power of the Holy Spirit. He's shown us the inner life of the Holy Trinity, which is a communion of persons, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The Church is also a community of the persons that shares in God's Trinitarian life and love. The deepest and most profound mystery of our faith is that of the Blessed Trinity. This states that there is only one God, consisting of three separate persons, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Simply put, there are three individual persons in one God. This indeed is a mystery that cannot be understood. We believe it because of the gift of faith which has been instilled in us at baptism. The Catechism teaches us that the Christian family is a communion of persons, a sign and an image of the communion of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. In marriage, man and woman together make the image of the Blessed Trinity. It follows that the Trinity is reflected, as I see it, in the union between a man and a woman in the following manner. The love of, the, the love of God the Father and God the Son culminates in the perfect love called the Holy Spirit. A man and a woman in love and united in the sacrament of matrimony share their love for each other in such a way as to bring forth a third person, a created person, it is truly a beautiful thing when the newly married couple embraces the sacrament and uses it throughout their lives. Therefore a man leaves his father and mother and cleaves to his wife and they become one flesh. Husband and wife image shows God is representing his permanent, exclusive covenant friendship with his people. They are also the image of the Trinity's fruitful love, because when husband and wife are united as one in a marital embrace, their love can create and produce a third person, a child. For those who are married, have you thought of your marriage as an image of the Blessed Trinity? By living out your marriage according to God's plan, you're reflecting the total, permanent, exclusive and fruitful love of the Most Holy Trinity. Thus we see the fruitful love of husband and wife as nothing less than the mirror of the Trinity. The Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, is a family, and thus man in God's image must be made a family as well. Therefore a man cannot completely realise the essence of his existence until he learns to exist with someone and for someone. Both relationship and communion are crucial to this process. The revelation of God as Trinity is not a mathematical puzzle, but a mystery. Just as the love between two human beings can be mysterious. In speaking of God, we are speaking about the depth of the infinite love, which can exceed limited human capacities but it can elicit within us a great sense of awe and wonder and a desire to praise and worship this great God of ours who has made us so close to him through Jesus Christ. May the grace of God and the love of God and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with you today and always.